Here we're asked to graph the function on our calculator and restrict the input window and draw an accurate sketch, then indicate the domain and range for the given window above. So let's do that. We're going to go into y equals. And if there's something in the y equals list, go ahead and clear it. Then enter x minus 1. And what we're going to do also then is restrict the window. So that means that my x min is negative 5. My x max is 5. My y min is negative 10. So let's put that in as negative 10. And then my y max is 10. So let's put those values in to our window and then press graph and see what we get. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and draw a set of axes, x and y, and we've got labels here 1 to 5. So let's just put a 5 right here. That's not a very good 5. Here we go. That's better. And negative 5 here. And we have actually negative 10 to 10, but we'll stop it at 5. And these are tick marks here of 1. And I'm going to go into my table, and I want to figure out what the endpoints are for the graph. So I want to figure out when the input is 5, what's the output, because that's going to be my point here. So it's going to be 5, 4 is the ordered pair that is here. So let's label that as 5 comma 4. And let's see what happens at 0. We've probably got a negative 1. So let's just put that point right there. And then if we go to negative 5, that's the other part of our domain. That's going to take us down to negative 6. So an accurate sketch of our graph would be as indicated here. If I want to find the domain and the range, what I'm going to need to do is to map my inputs onto the horizontal here. And I'm going to need to map both. So let me go back here and make that one blue. So my inputs are going to go from negative 5 to 5. And I'm going to write my notation this way. To find the range, I'm going to map my outputs. So my outputs are going to go from negative 6 to 4 is here. So my outputs are all right there. So that's going to be negative 6 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 4. So here are my domain and my range for the graph of this function. Notice that the domain and range are only limited because I was told to limit the input values for this function. If the input and output are not restricted, then this line will continue forever in both directions and the domain and the range are both all real numbers, which is indicated by this kind of a script R. I can also write that as negative infinity to infinity. That's another way to write it for both of those. So all real numbers can be used for input and all for output. And I technically could use this notation with out the underline under the inequality because I can never actually get to infinity. So let's do that there. And those are all of our possible ways to write all real numbers.